This is Brad Atlanta Hot Tub Center, Tub Talk 101, and today by popular demand, we are going to talk about the difference between a lounge and a non-lounge hot tub. Now this is going to be pretty Sundance specific guys, just because every brand handles this different. Some brands don't have foot domes, some brands don't have leg jets in their lounges and so forth. So every manufacturer is a little bit different on how they handle it. But either way, no matter what, there's going to be pros and cons to every single manufacturer from a lounge to a non-lounge model. So the two models we're going to look at, look at today are, is the uh, Sundance Cameo and the Sundance Optima. Okay, the Sundance Cameo has a lounge, the Sundance Optima does not. So first, let's take a look at the Cameo. So you can see how this lounge is laid out. Let's first talk about what the lounge is going to do for you. It's going to give you that lazy boy, right? We all love to go home, pull the handle if you still have one. I know a lot of them are automatic nowadays, but at the end of the day, kick back watch your favorite TV show or movie, right? So it's the same thing in the hot tub. You've got this lounge. It's got jetting all set up in the lounger. You've got hand and wrist jets, right? You've got these leg cradle jets, which is very, very different for a Sundance lounge because you're not gonna get these leg cradle jets in a Sundance Optima or a tub without a lounge because there's no way to lay you out to get that same massage, right? They're not, they, they can't lay it out that way. You'll still get a little bit of a leg massage in a non-lounge model, but it's not gonna be the same value as a lounge model, okay? The other thing that you can notice here is that the lounge actually takes up one third of the hot tub, right? So normally you would have three seats here, one, two, and three. But being that you have a lounge, um, you're basically taking two seats from a non-lounge hot tub, okay, two seats, from a non-lounge hot tub to create this lounge experience, okay? So let's talk about the non-lounge model. Okay, as you can see, just like we were just talking about, guys, there's no lounge here, right? So what do you have? One, two, three seats, okay? So again, same rule applies. You get two extra seats when you don't have the lounge. However, you can see you don't have some great leg massage, right? Sure, you've got a couple of jets here for your calves and you could kind of slide up and down and, you know, uh, get a massage on different parts of your legs, right? But it doesn't lay you out like a lounger to really give you that jet massage or that leg massage, right? So that's different. Another thing that's different, guys, is this foot dome, right? If you don't have a lounge in a Sundance series, you're going to get a foot dome. Let's talk about the pros to a foot dome. Okay. The pros to a foot dome is that every single person in the hot tub has a place to put their feet. Okay. This avoids footsie. Okay. It's kind of funny, but this avoids footsie, right? Because when you get in the hot tub, your mind's going to say, hey, I'm going to put my feet on those jets, opposed to putting uh, your feet in the middle of the hot tub with everybody else's. Right. So that is a big difference. Okay. So just a quick recap here, right? If you are looking for a hot tub with great leg jetting, and leg jetting is very, very, very important to you, and the couple of extra seats aren't a big value to you, I would tell you to go with a lounge model, okay? If you are looking for a more spacious experience and you want a foot dome, okay, for a foot massage for each and every person in the hot tub and you value the two extra seats, you need to go with a non-lounge model. Now, in the Sundance series, we have one model that has a foot dome and a lounger. It is called the Sundance Maxis. And the only reason we're able to have both is because of the sheer size of the hot tub, right? If you were to take a lounge model uh, that's seven foot five by seven foot five and try to stick a foot dome in it, your knees would be up to your chest right? Because ultimately the lounge takes up one third, that foot dome would be pushed so far back, you wouldn't be comfortable. The Maxis, again, is, you know, it's seven foot eight by nine foot two, right? So with that long nine foot two, they're able to get both in there. And uh, for the consumer, you know, they're, they're still comfortable. So this is Brian Atlanta Hot Tub Center. And the difference between a lounge and non-lounge model 
for Sundance Hot Tubs. Thank you.